With Derek Chauvin's trial so high profile and contentious, there are concerns about protecting jurors from outside influence. Our viewer Doug asks, what are the rules to sequester a jury? So let's verify. Is the jury in Derek Chauvin's trial sequestered? Our sources, court footage and documents, Minnesota court rules, and a legal expert. Overnight, unrest in Minnesota after police shot and killed a black man during a traffic stop. On Monday, Derek Chauvin's lawyer asked the judge to sequester the jury in response. The emotional response that that case creates sets the stage for a jury to say, I'm not going to vote not guilty because I'm concerned about the outcome. The judge denied that. I think sequestering them would only aggravate that. Oh, I heard about the civil unrest and now the judge is putting us into sequestration. There must be a greater threat to our security. Minnesota court rules say from the time jurors are sworn until they retire for deliberations, the court can direct that they remain together continuously under the supervision of designated officers. In other words, the judge can sequester them at any time and even prevent them from going home to keep them away from outside influences. Mark Osler is a professor at St. Thomas Law School in Minneapolis. They want to protect them from, from harm and from influence. And the second reason is to prevent them from doing investigation on their own. Right now, the jurors for Chauvin's trial, who are being kept anonymous by the court, are partially sequestered. Judge Peter Cahill's order lays it out. The jurors park at a secure location and get escorted into the courthouse through a private entrance. And inside, they're supervised at all times, even during breaks. They're going to be cordoned off more from the other people in the courthouse. But they can go home at night. Judge Cahill writes, media reports during trial are likely to report on the evidence already presented and unlikely to unduly prejudice the jury. So full sequestration is not necessary. But during jury selection, Judge Cahill told the jurors not to discuss the trial or do research and to avoid news altogether. It's best to avoid all media coverage. And the judge made it clear he could fully sequester them at any point if he feels it's necessary. And the concern there was that despite keeping jurors anonymous, that somebody may find out who one of the jurors is and reach out and have an inappropriate attempt to tamper with the jury. We have no indication that that's happened. The judge has already ordered that the jury will be fully sequestered when deliberation begins, likely next week, until they reach a verdict. We'll sequester them on Monday when we anticipate uh, doing closings. Instead of going home at night, they're going to be staying in a hotel nearby, uh, or maybe not nearby if they seek greater security by, by creating more distance. So we can verify, yes, right now the jury in Chauvin's trial is partially sequestered, and they'll be fully sequestered once deliberation begins. With your Verify, I'm Gabe Cohen.